Hello YouTube, good morning. Well, time for a video about these red light traffic cameras once again. And time to call out a few people on this. Uh, recently, they've been turned back on in the last few months after the state ruling in the Ohio Supreme Court that said home rule supersedes state law. And you know, also, the NAACP the Dayton NAACP, I'm not sure about other NAACP chapters across other parts of the state, but they said these cameras are prejudicial and they are predatory towards minorities and poor people. I can't disagree with them at all. The local NAACP, they're completely right when they said that these are prejudicial and they're predatory towards poor people. Look at the communities that these are all located in. We're in Trotwood, Ohio, just outside of Dayton, Ohio. And what does Dayton and Trotwood have in common with each other? Well, both are messed up economically. Both are high crime, are high crime areas. My point being is, why is it that you only see these stupid cameras in communities that are messed up? I mean, all, all of the communities I know they're in in Southwest Ohio, Dayton, Cincinnati, Middletown, Hamilton, Springfield, Dayton, Trotwood, what do they all have in common? High crime, high proportions, high proportions of minorities and poor people combined. So the NAACP, they're completely right on this. But the thing that I would like to see the NAACP start going after, start going after the politicians that support this stuff and your local police chiefs that support this shit. Like the other day, uh, the uh, police chief of Trotwood said all oh, about these cameras that I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect the citizens of Trotwood. Listen, buddy and people, it's never been about freaking protecting people. It's been about sucking the money from the taxpayers because these cities that have these are all screwed up and they're mismanaged and because of that they siphon money out of the taxpayers like that instead of actual created actual jobs and doing the income right one on the other side too and uh, so why is it that you don't see these community, why, why is it that you don't see these cameras in, um, in well-to-do communities? You don't see these in Vandalia, Centerville, Lebanon, Xenia, Englewood, you know, that sort of thing. You only see these in these screwed up communities that are mismanaged like this. Think about that. So yes, they are completely right when they say that they're prejudicial and they're predatory towards minorities and poor people. And you know, down in Dayton, they said, "Oh, well, we're gonna, well, we're gonna have even more of them down there." They just recently uh, said that they're start, they're gonna start issuing warnings on some of the ones they set up. Now down in Dayton, they still have these. But they've actually set up ones that are mobile that the police can move around. You know, they're mobile. They're mobile locations that are that are entrapments. So, uh, and the city of Dayton says, "Oh, well, we're gonna put even more of these out." So you tell me that's not predatory towards the towards the residents and the people. But anyway, the NAACP, the date chapter, there there was a story a couple months ago that they're leading a, they're leading, they're leading to put on the ballot to have the citizens vote whether or not these should be legal or not legal. Now I don't know if it's going to be just in Dayton or if it's going to be a statewide. Ballot. I haven't heard too much about that recently. I've been meaning to get to this video, but I just have not had much time up until the last week, as I mentioned. You know, but the evidence is pretty overwhelming that these do discriminate against poor people. 
They're completely right on that. And why the residents sit back and allow it and why they don't go after these politicians that allow this screwed up bullshit to be in their communities. Bring back the jobs. Stop focusing on stupid shit like this. Make your cities business friendly. But I guess cities like Trotwood and Dayton and Springfield have never, haven't caught on to that idea right there that they need to focus on bringing actual economic prosperity, not stuff that's predatory towards the towards their own citizens. But anyway, as soon as I hear more about the ballot issue and uh, whenever it's going to be on the ballot, I'm sure I'll do another video about these again. I've did videos of these a few different times, but it's just a, but all it does is just siphon the money out of the taxpayer and then just screwing over the taxpayer people. Yet they they say they care about their public safety. Understand? They don't give a they don't give a crap about your safety. All they care about is siphoning the money out of you, one way or another. If they can't do it this way, they're just gonna they're just determined to siphon the money out of you, whatever way they can. They don't care about the citizens. They just care about trying to siphon every bit of money they can out of citizens, and it's really messed up that the citizens will allow it and and I really do wish the NAACP would come out against these politicians that that support this stuff and just get rid of them but anyway that's it from uh, Trotwood, Ohio suburb of Dayton about these red light traffic camera scams and understand they're not about protected people they're about money